Hey everybody, GC13 here. Mitch Williams starts Glitch Tex off as quite the antagonistic figure in Miko and Five's lives. He's out to bag glitches, and he doesn't care if the Blueberry Brigade got there first, or if that glitch happens to be inside one of their friends. He wasn't always like that, though. Back before he became a Glitch Tech, he was quite an informative streamer. Barring any kind of big flashback episode, we'll probably never know exactly what happened to change him to the way he is today, but looking at a couple of key episodes, we do have a pretty good sense of why Mitch acts out the way he does. Right now, Mitch is mostly a solo act. He's most commonly found out on patrol by himself, whether he's taking out bosses like a boss, or responding to distress calls about errant retro glitches. When it's time for him to team up, though, Mitch does have a team he works with regularly. Himself, Sora, and Hanish. And together, they are mega successful, routinely topping the XP leaderboards. Naturally, Mitch is the team leader, directing Zara and Hanish to weaken and contain the target before he goes in for the kill. It's great for getting him all of the glory, but we've seen it turn around to bite him before, too. Since he runs it like it's Team Mitch, he'll ignore good advice because it didn't come from him, and Zara and Hanish aren't going to argue with him just to protect him from himself. There was even a time where an entire episode's plot happened because Mitch went in to do an entire boss fight by himself rather than confronting it with the full team, and that was enough for the normally easygoing Five to tell him off about his selfish behavior. We're a team, so if you're not willing to be a team player, then we're better off without you. Normally, Mitch is quick with a comeback. When he doesn't have one, you can tell something has really got to him. This is one of those times. He just looks back at the rest of his team, and walks away. That wasn't the first time someone told him a team was better off without him. And based on his egomaniac behavior, I'm willing to bet that that someone was Mitch himself. Let me explain. Mitch was part of a team. A real team. Once. Even after he quit streaming, he was part of the Furious Four, along with his three siblings. Although they love him as a brother, and place a very high value on his contribution to the team, Mitch clearly doesn't see it that way. Ugh. Those blueberries don't need me. While Mitch was talking about Miko and Five, he was also bearing his soul to his siblings. Miko and Five don't need him, and neither did the family he left behind. It's right there in the name. Audrey, Ruff, and Speck kept on streaming as the Furious Four even after he left. That had to sting, especially as the youngest brother. Now, we don't know the timeline, but there's definitely a link between Mitch feeling unneeded by his family and him moving out to focus on work. It must have been tough for him as a rookie glitch tech, though. Only top-tier gamers make it in, so while he was the best of the best before, he suddenly found himself swimming in a much bigger pond with a lot more big fish, and saw that there was still a lot he had to learn. Throw that on top of his family carrying on gaming like nothing had ever happened? Yeah, of course Mitch feels like he has something to prove. It explains why when we see Mitch at the beginning of the series, he can't bear coming in second in a public match. It explains why Mitch feels like constantly griefing newbies for frankly pitiful amounts of XP, compared to what he could earn himself, anyway. He's Mitch Williams for crying out loud. He's the star of the show, and he has to make the blueberries see that. Of course, Mitch's abrasive behavior didn't win him any friends at Glitch Techs. Five, incredibly charitably, regards him as a work frenemy. And while Zara and Anish are content to follow Mitch's lead, they don't respect him like he thinks they do. To them, he's just that shouty guy who it's easiest to shut up by following. As bad as Mitch was for the bulk of what's already come, I do have faith that he'd be a much better character in new episodes, should we ever get any. Even before he accepted Miko and Five as true teammates, he had already spared Ridley and, dare I say it, acted like an actual leader in the confrontation with the Dabney Tex. Maybe, just maybe, he'll find that the spirits of teamwork, friendship, and understanding were inside him the whole time. That would be a huge win for Glitch Tex. Five had some deservedly unkind things to say about him after he took on that copycat glitch by himself, but Mitch is a heavy hitter. He was a great teammate as part of the Furious Four, and he hasn't lost a step. Watch out, Glitches. This is the real new and improved Mitch Williams, and he's looking to join the Wrecking Crew. What do you think about Mitch? Is he ready to solve the problem now that he sorted his feelings out? Which of his hairdos was best? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more cartoon videos.